Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to be downloading and installing Ubuntu Desktop, the latest version that's available today, late 2018, into a virtual machine image. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've browsed to ubuntu.com download and the desktop version. I'm going to be using the long-term support uh, version for this video. And you can also see in an effort to save time, I've downloaded this ISO image already. So we can move right out ahead. We can open up the workstation player, create a new virtual machine. I'm going to install the operating system later. Click next. This is going to be a Linux Ubuntu. Click next. I'm going to call this Ubuntu desktop. 18, click next, disk size 20 gigabytes, that should be okay, split into multiple files, that will be great, click next, I'm going to customize hardware, 2 gigabytes of memory should be okay, one processor also okay, NAT is our networking, that'll be okay, we may wish to change that later. We're going to go ahead and change the CD DVD. We're going to use the installer image we just downloaded. Click Browse. Go ahead, Ubuntu 1804. Click OK. Make sure Connect at Power On is selected, and we can close. We can finish. And now we can go ahead and press Play. I'm going to just close this. Remind me later. Now that the installer is up, I'm going to go ahead and just sort of move that a little bit more central. I'm going to go ahead and install Ubuntu. I'm going to choose English and English as my default keyboard. Normal installation. I will download the updates. I won't install third party software. I'm going to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. This is a new virtual machine, new image, new disk uh, image. So there's nothing there, no need to worry. Click install now, continue. I am in Toronto area. My name will be Steve. I will do Linux. I will pick the username, I will pick a password, it's only fair, I will click that. I'm going to use my password to log in, so with that enter, click continue. Okay, so now that it's done, the installation is done, we can go ahead and restart the computer. Click restart now. We can go ahead and press enter. If I cancel, I can use this image in VirtualBox as well as in a, a VMware Player. So I'm going to go ahead and leave all of those additional tools uninstalled. And that, as I say, leaves me the flexibility to run this virtual machine inside of something else, VirtualBox specifically. Just close, quit. There we go. I'm going to take away some of these, remove from favorites. So that was a right click. Remove from favorites, remove from favorites. This is the Ubuntu software. I'm going to leave that one here. I'm going to go ahead and remove from favorites. And I'm going to remove from favorites. And I'm going to remove from favorites. 
X that, X that, I must have accidentally hit it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on show all applications. Specifically, I'm looking for terminal. So here's terminal. I will click that once. And then you'll also notice that I'm going to add to favorites. It's going to be pegged to this uh, as well, pegged to this window. So I'm going to go ahead. I have to install some new stuff already now. I'm also going to go and show applications and I'm going to go to, but first, let me just type in my password to enable those updates to be done. I'm going to go to settings. I'm looking to make my screen better. I think that's where I do this. Display screen. So here we have, I want to do something like 14 by 900. Is that no? Maybe that's not good. I want 1680 by 10. And then of course, can I stretch this? No. This is my worst bit. When the screen is too small, I'm unable to click apply. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Key changes. Now we've got a nice wide screen. You can see that it's a little bit wider than my screen here, but it's not bad. Let's see if we can't do something better. 14, uh, I like that, that'll work. Perfect. Keep. Okay, that's a little bit better. We'll close that. All right. While this is downloading, we can't install other packages, but what we can do is we can test to see if GCC. Okay, so GCC is the C compiler. We're going to want to have that. So you can see here, we're going to want to install that. Probably GDB, which is the debugger. GDB is installed. So we can quit and be done with that. So we want to su do apt install. And I want to do open SSH dash server. That's one I haven't talked about. I want to be able to SSH into this machine so that I can log in and interact with the machine from a different system using a terminal program such as putty. And then I also want to install GCC. Again, we have to wait until this installation and update is done because this updater has the same database locked as this install needs. So we can't do the two at the same time. All right, not sure what's going on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that. And go ahead and click enter here. Type in my password. I do want to do that. Perfect, and that's all done. So now if we do a PS, PSAX pipe with grep SHD, that's running, and we can do a GCC, and that's running. Of course, GCC by itself without any source code is a fail. So I can go exit, and then I can go up, click here, and power down, power off. And we're done. Thanks, uh, thanks so much for watching this video.